Hello, I'm Joanne Sanchez. We welcome you again to this week's edition of Your Active Life, your orthopedic educational community program. We'd like to thank Affection Home Care for helping make this program possible. By my side, Dr. Raul Marquez. Hello, and thank you for joining us. Our goal during this program is to provide you with some valuable health information that will be beneficial for you and for your family. On today's program, we will be discussing sports medicine and its relationship to orthopedics. When we think sports medicine, we immediately associate it with injuries caused by some type of sport, whether the injury was a recent one or one that may have happened years ago. Sports medicine is known as a subspecialty of orthopedics simply because sports-related injuries are mostly associated with muscle, joint, or bone injuries. Doctors that are experienced to treat these type of injuries are in the field of orthopedics, such as Dr. Marquez. That is correct, Joan. As sport-related injuries have increased, there has been a need to focus on how we can help to prevent the sport injuries. Prevention in sport injuries has gradually become just as important as treating and rehabilitating injuries. Annually, an estimated 7 million Americans, we're talking about all age groups, receive medical attention for sport-related injuries. With this type of statistics, it's our duty to promote prevention and healthy lifestyle. And Dr. Marquez, I know that some people are probably thinking, okay, in order to live a healthy lifestyle, I must do some type of exercise, but if I exercise, I run the risk of injuring myself. What are your comments to that? Well, yes and no. Yes, you do run the risk of injury if you're not exercising properly and if you're not wearing the right gear. Don't overwork your body. Spend more time stretching your muscles before and after you participate in a sport or exercise. Our body is unique. What I might be able to do physically, you may not. Do exercises that are appropriate for your type or frame. Focus on improving your endurance, strength, and flexibility. Be sure to wear the right shoes and proper clothing. And most importantly, have fun. Dr. Marquez, what are the most common sports-related injuries? The most common sports-related injuries are overuse and strain injuries. What, is, what does that mean? Overuse injuries are the ones that are caused by repetitive movement or also known as wear and tear of the joint, tendons, muscles, and bones. These injuries are most commonly found on the areas of the shoulders, elbows, knees, and ankles. And a strain, that means it's an injury that occurs in a muscle that is damaged or torn. Dr. Marquez, do these type of injuries occur while practicing or playing any type of sport? Yes, overuse and sprain injuries can occur playing or practicing any sport. Running, for instance, is considered one of the most high impact sports that can lead to these type of injuries. Nevertheless, it's one of the healthiest. Some of the other most popular sports in which we can find this type of injuries are golf, tennis, football, basketball, soccer, gymnastics, dance, and mountain biking. They are just to name a few because in reality, as I mentioned before, injuries can occur while practicing any sport, which is why we are paying more attention to prevention. The key is to detect early signs and symptoms to help prevent an injury become worse and may lead to surgery. As I have mentioned before in previous programs, surgery should be the last option. Speaking of surgery, Dr. Marquez, what does an ACL mean? ACL means anterior cruciate ligament. This is a structural ligament that looks more like a rubber band in the middle of the knee that helps prevent the rotation and the translation of the knee and keeps the tibia or the bottom part of the knee from shifting forward. Now, what can cause an ACL injury? An ACL injury is caused mostly on a sports that require a lot of twisting of the knee, such as football and basketball. An ACL is most commonly injury when the foot is planted on the ground and there's a sudden change of movement or twist of the knee. ACL injuries may also occur landing from a jump and they are quite common in ski injuries. I will share with you a particular case that I most recently saw in my office. A young man playing basketball landed on his knee and it, his knee popped. When he came to see me, he was complaining of pain, of swelling, and sensation of instability or giving way. 
he could not fully extend his knee. These are all the symptoms of a torn meniscus or an ACL injury. Then we perform an MRI. The MRI unfortunately showed that this patient had a tear of the anterior cruciate ligament and a tear of the medial meniscus. Our patient is now a candidate for a surgery known as anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. This procedure replaces the torn ligament. Dr. Marquez, you mentioned physical therapy. How long does that take? Well, an average physical therapy takes six weeks, more or less. Everybody's different, but by the time the patients recuperate, it's approximately four to six weeks. But most importantly, they need to continue doing the exercises for approximately six months. Some of us, especially athletes, fear the word surgery. We feel like the world is coming to, your, to an end. What are your thoughts on this? Well, like I always tell my patients, the good news is that you have a good chance to recuperate, but the bad news is that you need surgery. In about 90 to 92% of the patients, they are able to go back to their regular activities. That means go back to their activities that they did before the surgery, or go back to their the sports that they normally practice before they were injured. Dr. Marquez, what are some of the other types of sport injuries that occur most often? Well, each exercise or sport can lead to a certain type of injury. Some of the most popular are, for example, shin splints, pull hamstrings, shoulder impingement syndrome, or tennis elbow. Could you elaborate a little bit more on this? What are shin splints? Well. Joanne, shin splints, basically what it means is pain on the front part of the knee um, or in the tibia. That occurs due to an overuse type of injury, which is common in dancing or biking or running for repetitive activities that we do while we walk. Uh, m sometimes jumping also causes you know, quite a bit of a, a, a pain in the anterior aspect of the tibia or on the, on the front of the shin bone. And there's certain theories of what, what that is, but it basically is an overuse injury that means the muscle in front of the leg bone or the shin, it becomes very tight, very swollen, and it occurs as a chronic inflammation. And it's sometimes difficult to relieve the pain on the, on the shin splints. How do we do it? Uh, first, we recommend anti-inflammatory medication, change the way the sport is, is, is made, and also with icing, elevation, that also is, is uh, one of the main things of how we, we can treat the, uh, the shin splints. We have come to an end of this program. We hope that this valuable information will serve as a tool to help you make important medical decisions for you and for your family. We'd like to thank all of you for the support you have given us. It is very rewarding for us to be able to educate you, our community. Please continue to call or email and send us your comments. We have established a number in our office where you can call us with any questions or concerns. I would like to remind you that all these topics discussed in this show are for educational purpose only. Every case and individual is different. But if you have any questions, please contact your doctor or you can call us at the office. Once again, we'd like to thank Affection and Home Care for helping make this program possible. Thank you for being with us today, and we'll see you here next week.